Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Range Rover Velar. Yes, a detailed review video is coming up but not today's video but a video that drops after this video. So in today's video we are going to be discussing about the autonomous cars. If you've ever had a, a modern car and if you've noticed there is a lane departure system, there is lane assist. Uh, there is also adaptive cruise control and all of these are classified under autonomous cars even Tesla for the fact the ones that where you just remove your hand from the wheel although it is not advisable you will understand very soon after watching this video so there are different levels of autonomous uh, car uh, levels so let us understand today as to what are these different levels so the first level is the level zero so the level zero means the driver is under the control of the car fully like there is nothing that is controlling the car except the driver although there is a, a lane departure warning which is allowed and also there is autonomous braking in case of there is any sudden emergency which the driver fails to notice then and then only the car is allowed to intervene otherwise the driver is fully under control the next is the level one now in the level one the automation is is sort of a feature which is considered to be to the driver's assistance so it's only and only when the driver wants this assistance then only it is being called up so the examples are say your car, your car speed the the steering which is being controlled by the computer but not both of them simultaneously like the speed and the steering being controlled by the computer it's only one parameter which is being controlled by the computer and say for example you are doing the adaptive cruise control now that adaptive cruise control falls into level one so which is where the car would maintain a constant distance and also in case there was when you were driving without the adaptive cruise control it would do the steering corrections like the lane assist which you have so only then and then only there is only one time when it can intervene into only one function if you feel that these videos are helpful in improving your knowledge about the cars then please make sure to press the subscription button and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any video updates from my channel now moving on to the level two so the level two is the autonomous cars control where both the speed and the steering so the lane assist and the the steering again it is being controlled by the computer now again the driver always stays in control of these systems because he has to be always alert and always uh, like on standby in case something goes wrong so again coming to the adaptive cruise control some cars like the volvo s60 the the uh, pretty much all the range from volvo they do have the adaptive cruise control and also the lane assist where they would keep correcting the car in and keep it inside the lane so this is where the the level two uh, sort of automation comes into play also the parking assist where you have where you just uh, leave the car into the parking mode the car would find a parking spot and it would park the car for you again the driver always stays in control so he has to make sure he keeps an eye out on the car in case something goes wrong then he takes over the control the next level which is the level 3 automation now in this this is a conditional automation again so the same parameters where the car controls the steering it also controls the 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 uh, making sure that the car is inside the lane also and following the lanes so what happens is the car also has an additional bit of control in in terms of the surroundings so it keeps monitoring the surroundings and make sure that whenever you are trying to change the lane it will do that for you but then it is always safe to do that then and then only it will change the lane otherwise it wouldn't so there is an additional uh, parameter which is the monitoring of the surroundings the tesla which you see all these teslas have this uh, this level 3 automation again the driver always has to stay in control he has to be aware he has to stay alert because he eventually has to be the 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 one who decides if it is safe or not but these these level three cars that you would find are still very advanced nowadays where it is reasonably capable to do uh sort of uh, very safe sort of uh, maneuvers like changing the lanes also keeping up with the speed or if there is any emergency in front and someone breaks then it will break for you so in in that level level three automated cars are pretty safe the next level is the level four so the level four is like the highly automated cars which will be just 
on their own completely driving and be able to handle most normal driving conditions you wouldn't have to even interfere uh, with the car even during the bad weather if there is anything what the car will do is it will find a, a safe spot where it will park itself and then it will give you the control back so in these cases the level 4 is sort of completely automated but the car knows a lot of different conditions and also the environments under which it will operate and then there are more safety measures put in place so in these cases you can actually lift your hands and sort of fold them and sit on this the car would decide on its own if it's safe enough to continue driving under the the conditions on road and if not then it would just park on the side and give you the control after that the next level and the last level is the level 5 which is the highest level of automation now in this level the car is completely capable to decide everything on its own all you have to do is just sit in the car and then just let the car take you wherever you want so at the moment the re research work is going on on the autonomous uh, the level 5 cars but then not many not much progress has been made in that direction but the level 4 automated cars you have uh, google's wayne uh, which is which is a car which is the level 4 which will be able to handle pretty much everything on its own and only very minimum i mean bare minimum 1% of uh, interaction will be allow will be necessary uh, from the driver side but otherwise the level 4 the uh, we are pretty much in the level 4 uh, stage right now and few years down the line probably we'll have the first level 4 cars and then maybe level 5 maybe 5 years 10 years down the line that is pretty much it from this video i hope this video was helpful in making you understand just the basic levels of uh, automated cars that you see on the road and now you'll be able to better judge them you know in which category they fall into give it a thumbs up if you like this video and do the various bits and balls by following everything on the screen and i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care